Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome back Rat Pack. This is the open alpha for Snowtopia. If you've ever played one of those uh, ski resort building tycoon games before, this might be the game for you. We're going to design the perfect ski resort, satisfy some challenging visitors, and enjoy the surrounding mountains. So if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and let me know you'd like to see more tycoon and building games on the channel by clicking and tapping that like button. And thank you, as always, for showing your wonderful support. Thanks for doing that. Additionally, for those of you who are new here, thanks very much for subscribing, and I hope you enjoy this video. We're going to then start by uh, building a uh, free build Snowtopia resort, I guess would be the best way to put it. And if you'd like to download this one for yourself, make sure you go ahead and Google Snowtopia and look for T for Two Games on t for 2 gamesit uh, itch.io forward slash Snowtopia. But of course, Google will get you there as well. I'll drop a link down below in the description too, so if I haven't, make sure you remind me and check down below. Let's go ahead and start then. We're going to have to please, uh, I guess, guests who are all sorts of different uh, backgrounds, beginners and experts and daredevils and watch, which will all want all sorts of different uh, ski resort amenities, difficulties, I guess that would be a better way to put it, for our ski slopes. All right, let's go ahead and get started then and look at our beautiful little resort here. All right, down in the lower left corner, we see we've got beginners, solemers, daredevils, and experts that need to be pleased. And we got a beginner's guide to move the camera, which we've already completed. Uh, the option to rotate the camera, zoom in and out. And now we have to start by building a ski lift, designing a ski run, and having over 150 skiers on our slopes. This is absolutely beautiful, and I hope it really expands to be a game where we can build other things such as, uh, you know, a bigger hotel, restaurants, maybe medevac services, a helipad. That would be really cool to see all these things here, and there's plenty of room to build on. Look at that. They start us in the corner, but this is a tremendously large map, and we can build it as long as we want. So uh, we better get started then by building a... Uh, ooh, that would be a perfect spot over here uh, to build a gondola going up there in order to uh, have the skiers come down. Some of these places are pretty far away, and I don't know if our skiers will be able to manage that. But on the left, this would be perfect for a black diamond. Up in the center would be perfect for beginners. And then over here, our intermediate skiers can go up on this hill as there's a little bit more challenge to it. Well, without further ado, let's get started. I think we're going to accommodate the most amount of basic beginners. So let's start here and let's try to build it maybe into the center of the map so that way our skiers can uh, make their way on either side. So let's get, try to go over here. Again, it'll float a little bit off the ground, but again, this is an alpha. So I guess we're going to try to ignore that as much as we can as the ground will probably be terraformed in the future. But for now, we see our ski lift going. So let's start with some medium ski runs. We're going to design two easy ones to go all, uh, all around this rock here, all the way to the bottom. So let's start. Gondola is now 227 meters up towards the top. Let's design our first little ski hill. So depending on how uh, straightforward we make our path... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> let's go ahead and start over. Depending on how straightforward we make our path, you can see here blue will keep it a blue diamond, red will make it a red diamond, and if it turns black, that'll make it a black diamond. So this is going to be, again, our easier family-friendly ski slope for you know moms and dads and kids and brothers and sisters and young folk and old folk to uh, come down here and get the basics of, or just somebody who wants to enjoy the outdoors for the time. So we're going to try to keep things blue and green as much as possible. And there we go. Ski slope number one is complete, or at least in this case it's called number two now that I had to rebuild it. Too bad we can't rename them, but let's build another ski slope now. And our first goal is to have 25 skiers drop by, so hopefully they are going to enjoy our uh, wonderful ski slope here. We'll try to keep this one as mild and gentle as possible, and uh, see if we can make our way all the way down the hill, and make it look nice too. Looks like if we uh, build any sort of pathways through the trees, the trees will kind of automatically get deleted, so that's kind of neat, as it'll clear the way for our skiers. Well, we definitely don't want any sort of black diamonds. Let's try going down here. Ooh, the music's picking up! Very nice! Ah, this feels like something out of, uh, like Project Hospital or something. Ah, there we go, or Two Point Hospital. Very nice. Alright, we're gonna try to build this as nicely as possible. We could have a little red in it, maybe. And uh, try to keep it as mild as possible going down here. Ooh, that gets Black Diamond. A little too scary. Alright, let's try to keep it... There we go, that's what we're looking for. Oh, be nice with a terraforming option. I'd like to get rid of this hill here. There we go. See if we can circle around and find a nice blue area. Little scary spot over there, but that should keep it right in the blue. Fantastic. And if we check over here, we can see that the ski level difficulty is remaining blue. So both of them, even though they have a little red spot, are still blue. Fantastic. All right, the skiers are going up the ski slope. So it looks like the uh, little gondola is working overtime. We got two different slopes going there. 
people must be getting inside. And here comes our first uh, customers. Very good. They're getting on the ski slopes or onto the gondolas to get to the top of the slopes. And they should be down here soon. All right, let's try our medium difficulty. Let's try a chairlift this time. And it doesn't look like we have options for this surface lift, so we'll just do this one. And again, we'll put it somewhere in the middle. Perfect. All right, this one should be a little easier to design as we're more than capable of going into the uh, red sections and making it a little more scary, which will uh, really please the daredevils. Anybody who wants to go skiing or snowboarding or whatnot can enjoy this path. And we definitely want to make sure it's a little more uh, challenging, but not red challenging or uh, bl uh, black diamond challenging. Let's try that again. See if I can make it a little less, a little less mild. There we go. A nice red section there with a tight turn. All right, let's see how that works. Perfect, and that's a red uh, pathway there. Very nice, a red ski run. Let's try to do the same on this side. And a simple right-click removes the previous path, so if you don't like it, you can always right-click and the trees will come right back until you're done with construction. Let's try to keep things red here. Oh, this one's too mild. <laughs> I want to... Actually, you know what? I got an idea. We could actually build a large ski run for some of the... Actually, we'll build one big one for all the daredevils. We'll build two over here, and then one big scary one on the other side. I wonder if we can build these in reverse. Will that work? Oh, I see. It doesn't doesn't really... Slope must go downhill. Makes sense. So the game probably calculates by uh, the slope and the speed, like that. There we go. So that'll make it a little, a little more scary. All right. Well, this one's going to be too easy. I don't want it to be too easy. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we can have it go down the backside of the mountain. Oh, what if we did this? Oh, that's going to be interesting. Oh, wow. Slope must go downhill. All right, let's have it circle around this way. Well, that should keep it red. That's going to be an interesting ski slope. Well, we changed it to be a little bit more challenging. We could even build another one uh, in order. I, th I think that would still be red if we had a zigzag back and forth. That, to me, would look like it would be red, but... All right, now we got two blue, two red. Let's make our super scary one now. So let's build our dangerous one over here. Let's go all the way up to, uh, like, up, uh, up around here. There we go. So this is where the big, uh, big players are going to go up here. All right, let's see some black diamonds now. This is going to get real scary real quick. Already immediately black diamond. Oof. That's going to be quite the drop. All right, let's have it... Let's add a little variety here. See if we can make it zigzag underneath the pathway. Quite a tight turn. Maybe we'll just keep it uh, straight forward so all the fast skiers can come down. There we go. There we go. That's nice. So now we've got a big slope for all those people. Very good. All right. Well, let's see. Let's look at our satisfaction on the left side. Beginners, 5. 20 Solomers. 17 dare Daredevils and 13 Experts. 50 ski, uh, 57 skiers in total, and the number's going up. Satisfaction's going up, too. Very good. Well, we've got plenty of more space for uh, more slopes, so let's do it. Let's build one over here for uh, some more beginners. Let's actually build a nice big one here for some more beginners. This one seemed to be very gentle, very mild. So we'll try to have that one circle back this way. There we go. Maybe we can build another challenging one up here. We'll have it connect back on this side. We'll have a, I guess, go underneath the uh, ski slope. Let's see if we can build a challenging one here. There we are. Eh, it looks like it'll be a little gentle. Oh, no, good. It's a red one. Fantastic. That's what I wanted. Perfect. So now we have three blue, three red, and a black diamond. Let's see if anybody's going down that one. Over here, this is the scary one. Nobody making their way over here just yet? I would imagine not. Oh, wait a minute. We've got our first victim. I mean, first customer. Here he comes. All right, he's going to head towards the chairlift now, and he's on board. This is kind of cool. We can actually see them on the chairlift. So he's going to head all the way up to the top. Oh, there are some people coming down. Check that out. Nice. It would be really cool if you could eventually uh, have, like, sports that you could host here, like the Olympics and have all sorts of different, uh, for example, instead of just skiing, it is just called uh, Snowtopia. It would be cool if you could see uh, snowboarders and set up all sorts of different jumps and rails and things for everybody uh, to go off of and really make it different. Looks like there's an option for decorations, too, which aren't unlocked, as well as accommodations. So, again, I would really like to be able to flatten out some of these lands, build a parking lot, have a road going out of here. There's a lot of promise to this for it being so simple. It looks beautiful, but I can already see there's a lot of care done to this one, so I'm hoping the best for Snowtopia. 
And look at all the people coming down. We've got 77 skiers here. We're now uh, getting close to our 150 uh, skier goal. And I think we're kind of out of space here. Unless we build one elsewhere. Let's see what we got for pathways. Let me highlight that makes it a little easier. Hmm. Yes, we've got three over here. One big one over there. I wonder if we could build one going up this way. Seems like uh, we're kind of running out of room here for some more ski lifts. Maybe we could put one over this way, but we're starting to run out of room. I wonder, can ski slopes cross each other? Slope must go downhill. I wonder if we can actually have a crossing point. That seems very dangerous, though. Can it intersect one? I'm not sure. All right, let's go over and make another black diamond, shall we? Hmm. Oof, this is going to be dangerous. Let's make a really tight black diamond over here. There we go. We can squeeze one in right there. Ah, I want there to be a nice, scary black diamond here. Hopefully that... Oh, nice. Very good. Now we've got eight ski runs. Remember, that says nine, but we deleted one at the start there. And it looks like that's going to be a really nice, challenging one as well. It'd be really cool if you could go into first person, too. Click on one of your skiers and watch them go down. Let's see if it says any information about them. Oh, there you go. Expert Energy, 296 out of 300. Satisfaction, 50. Looks like he hasn't visited his slope yet, so his satisfaction is about to skyrocket. Satisfaction now at 74% with almost 100 skiers. We're almost done here. This is going to be exciting to see how long it takes. Three good uh, ski slopes going. I love the gondola going up top. And I built that because we have the most amount of slopes, and we also have the most amount of uh, beginners, too. Uh, or at least we have uh, a lot of beginners going up there, since they're the two main slopes. But plenty of chairs, plenty of people using them. Very nice. 102 people now. Looks like Solomers are most at 30, but Daredevils and Experts are almost there, too. And look at all the people wanting to go up there. That is awesome. Look at all those people going up to the top. Very nice. All right, let's see what else we can get. Surface lift, I'm assuming, is just that tow rope that a lot of people grab to go up to the top. So that might be shorter. Ooh, it would be really cool to build a spot for kids to go tubing. That would be awesome. If you've ever gone tubing before, that is a lot of fun. Very, uh, very lazy way to enjoy the winter. All right, let's see. Uh, I would like to build a chairlift over here somewhere, but I'm nervous about if I could fit another one in between there. We're starting to run out of space. Hmm, actually, we could build one... Now we could build a chairlift here and have it come very close. Yes. Oh, the ultimate slope. Oh, we gotta make the ultimate one. Chairlift is too long. Oh yeah, right? This is gonna be the ultimate challenge. Right up there. Let's build our biggest, deadliest, scariest one now. Oof, this is gonna be real awesome. I wouldn't want to go on this one myself. Mm, we could even have it circle back this way a little bit. Go through the mountains, there we go. And back down to the ski slope here. Oh, that's a red? What? That was supposed to be our biggest, scariest. What? I guess not so scary after all. <laughs> Maybe our people are becoming more skilled. Boy, that actually, this looks much more dangerous and tedious than any of those other ones. Look at the curves, look at the uh, elevation there, and also uh, whew, the, the, some of the tightness on these with the slopes. That is, that is oof. That should be classified as a black diamond. We're going to get ourselves a lawsuit if you kids don't hear from me. You know what happened. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, maybe we can build another one going around the other side. No, it looks like it's a little too tight. Well, it would be cool to build off to other slopes. Can you do that? Can you connect slopes? I wonder if we can do that. Let's see. I want to see if we can connect slopes. You can! Oh, that's really neat! Oh, that's really cool. So I hope people, like, if they... If they're like, no, I'm out, then they can go over to this nice one and join in and just come down the easy way. That's cool. I didn't know you could do that. All right, well, let's connect some of the uh, easy slopes to some of the, or the more difficult ones to the easy ones, although it doesn't seem like there's any good spot to do that. Uh, we'll make another, actually, we'll make another pass here. There we go. I, I really hope that they can uh, go on those runs like that. I hope that's how it links up. Be really, I want to see if they can actually use that. Let's see if they take the turn. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Maybe they uh, only want to be experts. But it'd be cool if they could take whatever path they wanted so people can switch at any time and make their own custom routes. That would be cool. In fact, connecting these two black diamonds would be awesome this way as well. Right between the paths, just in case somebody wants to go down one. Let's try this. Let's try to get this little one to connect into the big one. There we go. So they probably don't connect at the moment, but it's a cool concept to be able to connect some of them together. All right, 145 skiers with satisfaction at 85% and climbing. 
Very good. Looks like everyone's like almost 90% here. Ooh, yeah, satisfaction's going up. Experts, 47. Very good. We got lots of daredevils and experts here. Not a lot of beginners. I thought we'd have a lot more uh, moms and dads here with the kids, but apparently not. Our winter wonderland is looking beautiful. Look at that. Day three. And there we go. We have over 152 uh, skiers here at 85% satisfaction. Not bad. Considering that we can't really do anything aside from uh, building ski slopes. I'm assuming with a couple of uh, hot chocolate huts and maybe a couple of snowmen. Oh, there's one. And a couple of other decorations and such. We really get them up well past 100. It'd be cool to see extra challenges, campaigns, a free build mode, multiplayer here would be awesome. Could you imagine you building a ski slope on one side, your friend building another, and you're competing for business? That would be awesome. I really want to see more of this game, and I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Again, on your way out, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button and subscribe if you are new here. Check in the description if you'd like to download this one. This is a very simple open alpha, and I think it was really neat. So I'm really excited to see more come from this one. I saw my friend False Phoenix play through this one, and I thought it was a neat little concept, and I'm really happy to see more building games coming out, especially of uh, kind of the vacation and the fun variants. Zoos, Roller Coaster Tycoon, those types of things. I love those. Aquariums and even skiing. All sorts of fun here on the channel. Alright folks, again I th greatly appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. This was a short one, but a quick one. And I'll be taking a look at Snowtopia sometime in the future. I'll see you all very soon. Thanks as always for watching. Goodbye everyone, and enjoy the slopes. Bye everyone.